Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the garage. Today we're making our own carbon fiber parts. So this is part one. Let's go. We are making a copy of an existing part. It will be the fuel pump cover. The fuel pump cover is a small part, so it's a nice part to start with. We're doing a mold of the original part, and then with this mold, we can copy the part and do it in carbon fiber or whatever, maybe Kevlar, Aramid, hybrid. Let's see. So, let's go. So before even starting with a carbon fiber part, we need a mold. And before we make a mold, we need to prep the part. In this picture, you see the fuel pump cover with five or six layers of mold release wax buffed out to a really nice shine. After this, I put it on a white sheet of plastic. This will help with making the tool so I can build up nice flanges and use it for the next steps. I tried to attach it with hot glue, but it didn't stick. So I drilled through and used these small black bolts you see here. I also closed the big hole where the wires and the grommet come through. So no resin gets underneath and inside the part. I did the same with the whole part with this yellow filleting wax around the edges. So no resin gets underneath the part and we get a nice release. It's also covered with a PVA release film. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we mix up some special hot sauce. This is the resin I use. I mix it up with some powder to thicken it up. And black pigment. I want a black gel coat. Here it is, the finished mix. I put it in a vacuum chamber to degas it. Get rid of all the air that gets introduced when mixing it. But I made a mistake here, it's way too cold in the garage. So the air bubbles have a hard time raising up and escaping. You see how many air is still left in there. But I managed to get a decent coat of the first gel coat and continued with the second coat after this. started mixing up a new batch. It's not that thick of a mix and heating the garage really made it. Here you can see how easily the air bubbles can raise and escape. They raise to the top and pop and you end up with a nice air free mix of resin. The first layer of glass is down. I'm really happy with it. Try to get all the air bubbles out. The heat gun really helps with it. I was working them out with the brush, bubble for bubble. You have to work them out between the glass fibers. They have to escape to the top. This is after two additional layers and now it's time to pop the, the mold from the, from the part and the plastic sheet. The white plastic is only there to build up a nice flange I can work with in the next steps, the resin infusion. Resin got under the plastic sheet and trapped in there on both sides so I have to trim this first and I also removed the nuts so I release the nuts you see there was stressing on the plastic 
Now I can continue to pop it and raise it up, get in between there and move my way around there. You see the part still stuck in there, release the plastic sheet first. I hope the pump cover gets out too, that easily. First I clean it up a little bit, remove the wax. I try to prey on the bolts and release the cover. And that's exactly what I want to hear. Nice. This one's a little bit stuck, but yeah, lifts. This one too. This is it. This is what I want to see. Yes, sir. There we go. Nice. PVA work. The stuff you see here, it's the PVA flaking off. Nice. After a little warm bubble bath, removed all the wax and the PVA. This is, this is it. A few damaged spots. I know where I made the mistake. Time to trim the edges. Always use your safety gear. I will leave a nice flange around the part. And this is it after trimming and, and a few seconds of sanding with the 600 grit. You see how thick the part is with the three layers of 300 gram per square meter glass. This is it right now after some cleaning up and I also sanded it to a 2000 grit. Now it's time to polish. So this will be a three step polish. First we're going to polish it up with a heavy cut. Second step the medium cut and then we finish it off with this third step. be buffing the shit out of this thing maybe two or three more layers and it will be done for the next step 
the next step will be finally putting in some carbon fiber into this mold and making the carbon fiber part maybe you hear it it started raining now the weather is really ass here but yeah that's April here and I hope it gets a little bit warmer because for the next step it, it has to be I'm going to be resin infusing this thing so see you in the next video thanks for watching peace